Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, last week, there was quite a few collections that came through the shop that we purchased. Uh, some Funko Pops, comics, uh, some action figures, some 1990s trading cards, uh, some cool uh, uh, magazines from that 60s era, and then we've got a few CGC books. Pretty cool. But uh, with that said, let's go ahead and uh, take a look and see what we got here. All right, on the Pops here, uh, we've got the South Park uh, Cartman with Clyde. Game Stop exclusive, uh, American Horror Story. So we got Notorious B.I.G. There you go. Um, we got Elvis, Honka Honka Burning Love, right? <laughs> uh, we got Diablo here, The Dark Wonder. Pretty cool. Um, we've got some Jurassic Park. Another one here. I haven't watched that movie yet. And then we've got the Hulkbuster. That's a Marvel exclusive. Pretty nice. Now, of course, we'll get definitely get these out on the floor pretty soon. Um, so this one's the uh, Black Black Light, I believe, the Captain America exclusive to uh, Target. Um, George R. R. Martin, Barnes and Nobles. We've got Werewolf Bart. Um, we've got some Looney Tunes here. We've got Taz, and we got Daffy Duck pretty cool then we got some masters of the universe there's snake face and this one is a uh, hobgoblin exclusive to target any twilight fans there's edward and hey there's cheetos the chester chester the cheetah and then here's a px exclusive i think we got this um before here at the shop but I had one come through again so there it's glows in the dark it's pretty nice yeah, we'll definitely get these pops uh, filtered in, and there's an Overwatch pop there, two-pack, so we'll get these on the floor, so. And here's some loose figures, just a just a few of them. We've got Demon, we got Batman, and we've got the Doctor Fate. And then here's some of the uh, packaged uh, figures here, some G.I. Joes. So I think there's a few of them here, too, a little bit more. Let's see, Lonzo there. Oh, oh. Wanted to jump into some action there. We got the Cobra Officer. And we got another Cobra Officer. But yeah, these, these will definitely, uh, there's a Cobra Trooper too. So definitely get these on the floor there. And then here's some Turtles in Time. It's pretty cool. There's Splash there. I mean, Slash, sorry. And then there's the gold label um, DC Multiverse, uh, the Flash. That's Earth 52 there. So. Very nice, and then here's another little two pack turtles. There's Leonardo and Rocksteady. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. These figures and things. So, here's the comics now. Wasn't too many, too many keys in this book. Um, there's Star Trek, some 52 stuff. It looks like some Grim Fairy Tales, Alice in Wonderland. Um, there's the Simpsons, Ghostbusters, and there's not too much. Some Halo, more Ghostbusters. As you get, there's some D and D, Gears of War, but as you get a little closer toward the back, more Star Trek. This is what kind of caught my eye. Check this out, Thundercats, number one. It's pretty cool, and it looks like they paid a dollar ninety-nine. I believe that's a Hastings sticker. And not only there's number one, we've got a number two, number three. Number 10, and then number 21. That's pretty neat. It's kind of kind of kind of odd though. You had a lot of Star Trek Ghostbusters, a lot of different sci-fi books, and then here, here's Thundercats <laughs> right at the end. So but we'll definitely get those out filtered in the back issues. So now here's the boxing illustrated. Now these are the, the magazines I was telling you about. Uh, this is from 1963. It's pretty cool. Any boxing fans out there, this is this is really neat. Um, now these, uh, they're in really good shape. I think all, all the pages are there. So I had, I couldn't pass on this little, little group. So, um, yeah, really nice. You can just see the history here. Look at that. Comics, I think there's some, some earlier, earlier Muhammad Ali in here. So, oh, Rocky Marciano, look at that. Yeah, that's cool, man. Any boxing fans, these are, this is, this is a must have here. 
But, uh, oh, there he is. Look how young he was. Wow. That's crazy. But, yeah, these are... Oh, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Man. But, uh... Oh, and there was one Monster World, number four. Now, I wish they had a little bit more of that, because I'm definitely a fan of, of anything that's... Look at that on the back. It's got the Hollywood mask. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But, uh... Now, here's the... The trading cards here that I was telling you about. These are that 1990 series, the Marble Run. It looks like it's all complete, too, um, with the holograms. That was what's pretty cool. Um, we'll try to see if we'll get back to the, the main one here. I want to say it's, it's number 10, uh, 161, I think. Oh, let's see if it's in here. You can tell they've kind of pocket pages or got to go through them and get them out so oh let's see there it is which one i was talking about mr marl stanley that's a good one to have there out of this set and then there's the holograms i don't know if you see those but uh, it's got the glare on it but there's all five of the holograms in there and then we jump into the 1991 set so they had the complete set there too so it's really cool and I think there's some holograms in this one. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Uh, let me get to the back there. Yeah. They definitely took care of these. There you go. It's hard to that glare on it. And then I think we've got some 1992 holograms and some extras from that 1990 right there. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Definitely going to get those out and... Get them in, in card sleeves and get them out. So now here's the books that came through. It's pretty cool. Look at that. Uh, First appearance of Carnage, the CGC at a 9.2. And that's crazy. And then here's the uh, origin first appearance of the Eternals. 8.0. And then Nova number one. First uh, origin and first appearance of. Nova there. It's great at 7.0. Really cool. Nice little collections that came through. Well, guys, we appreciate y'all checking out this uh, collection with us. Um, there was quite a few little odds and ends in there. There's some, you know, the Funko Pops. There's a lot of exclusives. Uh, some action figures, some comics, um, some CGC ones. That was pretty cool. And uh, some cool magazines from that 60s era. But uh, we'll definitely get these out on the floor. Um, we've got to process them, you know, make sure all the pages is there and everything, but, uh, um, everything looks good. I mean, it's pretty cool. Nice little, nice little collection this week, but, uh, until then, Hey guys, y'all take it easy, be careful, and, uh, we'll see you.